valve, uh, standard, non-CRV, just standard. Um, and the radiator is not connected for so we can do a better demonstration. Uh, now on any type of um, valve like this, you've got the um, union nut, no matter which type of valve it is, you've got a union nut between the valve and the radiator. Now this is used obviously to connect the radiator when you first put the radiator in or to disconnect it when you want to take the radiator off and of course this would happen on both sides. Now the problem is when you're trying to disconnect this um, nut here can, if it's been in for very many years will be very very difficult to undo and you need a lot of pressure. Now there are tools available to um, to undo that which is this is a purpose made um, radiator spanner and it, um, it fits over the nut like that. Now the problem with these is if I show you the end of a typical valve you can look at the nut there and, and see that it fits, it's a very sloppy fit it's not very good at all. So what we have instead of that is a an improved purpose-made radiator spanner from ABD Tools. First of all it's longer than the other spanner so you get a better leverage. If you show you the end of this it fits, fits very nicely and very snugly on that nut. So now we've got the spanner I'm going to put it on here and um, that needs forcing down to undo it. Now the problem is you're putting all your weight on this quite long spanner here and you've got to counter by holding this the valve here otherwise that will spin you'll you'll definitely damage the connection underneath here and end up with a drip or a leak and you're into draining down which is something that you want to avoid at all costs. Now traditionally most people would use a set of these water pump pliers for holding the valve so they put it on there like that, squeeze it tight and try and hold it. But these water pump pliers, they're not designed to work in, in kind of that orientation. They're designed to work that way, if you like. That way. So so they kind of twist and bend. Plus the other problem with these is they, as being water pump pliers, they've got teeth here. And they're quite sharp these teeth. And as you're squeezing it onto the onto the chrome, it digs into the chrome and of course marks it because it's only soft brass. So a solution to that is this tool, this one here, it's called the rad wrench, it's made out of uh, glass filled nylon, it's incredibly incredibly strong, that's trying to bend it with some force, it's very very strong, it's designed around the edges here with a radius, so it's rounded and actually how it works it goes over the valve like so and then you twist it in the opposite direction so if I'm trying to undo that I pull the nut down and pull the valve up like that and it's quite tight because I tightened it up before there you go that's done it held it perfectly well not a single mark to the valve and I'll re-tighten it push the red wrench down and pull the nut up like that and you can get Hell of a lot of pressure on it to do the job. So that's that's the rod wrench, and that's the um, purpose-made spanner that actually fits the nuts. Uh, they're both available from uh, ABD Tools. By the way, the um, the larger end of this is designed for thicker-bodied uh, thermostatic radiator valves. You can see it's a thicker body, so that goes on there and holds that as well. Works absolutely brilliantly on all valves once you've used it. You will not use anything else. It's very light, so it's not heavy in your toolbox to carry around. It's virtually indestructible. We've never brought one yet, and I'm sure you're not going to do either. So, um, like I say, if you want to um, get hold of the proper tools, visit ABD Tools. Uh, have a look at what we've got there. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. And uh, good luck, and uh, thanks for watching.